Oh, wait. <laughs> it's Betty time. It's about 3 p.m. and I'm on my way to the bus. Maybe today wasn't the best day to wear a skirt, but you know what? YOLO, right? YOLO. Bakery at Bathurst Station in Toronto. Obviously it's closed right now, but this is such a good bakery. If you're ever here. trying to find this for like 15 minutes now but I did I found it I just texted Vicky did I say where I was going <laughs> I just um, decided to go drinking with Vicky in a park except I don't have anything to drink oh shit which one is it it's this one and it's Brian her partner's birthday this weekend. The so. store. I got these Skittles and they're really, really good. Starberry, <laughs> strawberry, star fruit, mango, tan glow. I think you're drunk. No. Key lime, banana, berry, pineapple, passion fruit. Mm. I just don't know how to say that word, tan glow. Betty time. <laughs> what are you doing? I just stole some vodka about that <gasps> much. You are. What are you drinking in that bottle? Oh, this is are you drinking Mountain Dew and vodka? No, I'm orange juice. Is that a good combination or not? Okay. I wouldn't try it. I have never tried it. I'm not saying it's good or bad. I'm so, just, we're trying to drink the Mountain Dew. Yeah. So we can put this mix in the bottle. Do you like Mountain Dew? Do I like Mountain Dew? <laughs> yes. Would you like more Mountain Dew or orange juice? Mountain Dew. Mm. And then I like chocolate milk more than both of them. I'd be Would chocolate you... milk, Mountain Dew, orange juice. Have you ever drank chocolate milk and vodka? No, I've had Bailey's and chocolate milk, or Kahlua and chocolate milk. So here we have Betty in her natural habitat eating Skittles and drinking Mountain Dew. <laughs> <laughs> drinking vodka. <laughs> vodka Mountain Dew is my drink, bitch. <laughs> so tell me about yourself, Betty. So, I'm a singer songwriter from Fort Silverstone, New Brunswick. I moved to Toronto in 20... Toronto. I love Toronto. I was trying to come up with like a Valley Girl accent. Yeah. I don't know what year I moved here though. 2017. A what accent? A Valley Girl. It's like when you're um, like those California girls. Oh yeah, I love that. Mm -hmm. Do it. Um, I can't. That's the problem. I moved to Toronto in 2017 to pursue my dreams of a songwriter. Really? Is that why you moved here? No, I followed my best friend here. <laughs> <laughs> you lying bitch. Yeah. <laughs> and then uh, I did do a couple of open mics when I moved here. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, you're going to do more in 2021? <laughs> 2020. I forgot what year One. it was. I forgot what year it was. Yeah, we have to wait a whole other year for anything good. Um, well, maybe... Uh, Winter 2020. You can see But that's too cold. The bar. It's too cold. No, it's not. I'm really over winter. We like the cold. We as in Vicky. We're just out on a casual walk. Downtown Toronto. <laughs> a casual. A casual. Shut up. We're just a wee bit. Don't put me in that. I won't. <laughs> Cheeky. Oh, you can't see the sand tower there. Don't put me in it. You're not in it. <laughs> you can put that in it. No, there. you're not even included anymore. I don't want you in it. <laughs> We're walking past the place where last summer I would go to a band practice. It smells like weed. Every week. It does smell like weed, <laughs> actually. But Rehearsal Factory, that's the one I used to go to when I was working with the Strange Makers. Vicky just dared me to eat that ice cream cone no, to lick, lick it. it. To lick, lick it. it. Just lick it. <laughs> just lick it. <laughs> what a gorgeous sunset. It's so different to see it from different views. literally a 
Saturday night in June in Toronto and it's no traffic, like even downtown, nothing. It's so crazy. I'm finally almost home, making sure nothing's coming. And I had a really nice day. I'm just really tired. I got some pizza, it's in a chicken box, but I have pizza left over. Let me see if there's room. These are biker shorts. I got them in a 4X because they were out of 3X, so hopefully they still fit. I was actually gonna wear biker shorts today and I can't find them. I have two pairs already and I, I just don't know where they are. And these are filters for Owen's tank. And I don't know what this is, let's see. This is my camera tripod, or my phone tripod. Oh, I'm so excited. New filter is installed. This is the old gross one. Coming from you live on my new tripod. I don't know why I didn't invest in one of these sooner. I've been making videos on YouTube for like, genuinely like 12 years. 10 years, 12 years, like a very long time. Like I have a tripod for my like big camera that I don't use. I just kind of like keep for special occasions. <laughs> but I never thought to get one for my phone. I'm so silly. Moving up in the world, prepare yourself for more steady footage, I guess. This is still on my bed, so like it's a little bit wobbly, but I was at 12%, so we're charging her. We're charging right now. We're having a charging station. I had a really nice day with Vicky, and it was for Brian's birthday that I went there to kind of like celebrate, because they've been quarantining like hard. It's just been the two of them for like three months. So I'm pretty sure I'm the first person that they've like hung out with, which is an honor, if anything. But yeah, we just kind of like drank some, went for a little walk, and honestly, I'm quite tired. I don't have an excuse as to why because I think it's only like 11.30 midnight-ish, something like that, but I did have a good day. I just can't stop yawning. Excuse me. Okay, I guess that's a hint that I should go to bed. Maybe tomorrow I'll wake up early. Wouldn't that be something? Betty buys. Make sure to subscribe. And now Betty buys. <laughs>